Hey, welcome to uh, another video I'm doing. It's a little bit different than my usual um, video game reviewing let's plays and general complaints about crap. Uh, today I'm going to show a useful skill that uh, you may not know how to do. You may know how to do, but you don't do it right, or I don't, I don't really know. Either way, I'm going to show you how to do it, and that skill is soldering. Uh, it's very useful for making repairs at home that uh, you break something, you want to fix it without having to buy something, or you have something that you won't be able to find again somewhere. Like for example, uh, I have my fantastic garbage lid, which uh, has a motion sensor on it, and when you put your hand over it, it opens up, which is great because I like geeky uh, gadgets that make my fucking garbage can like uh, Star Trek or something. So, <clears throat> basically, I'm going to show you how to uh, re-solder some wires, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So let's get to it. Alright, so first off, uh, things you're going to need. Uh, some solder, obviously. Uh, you can find this uh, a lot of different electronic stores. You could probably even find it at Walmart, I think. Um, doesn't really matter what kind you're going to use. Uh, I recommend just lead-free, so that you don't have to deal with lead. And, uh, I mean, this particular kind is, uh, like 97.3% tin, so it's decent. Um, I mean, different types you would use for different things, but generally if you just use tin solder, you'll be alright. Uh, a couple other things you can get would be some flux, which isn't really necessary, but it helps to guide where you want the solder to go. Uh, obviously the other thing you're going to need is an actual soldering iron. Uh, this here, just cheap soldering iron I picked up from uh, Radio Shack. I've had this one for a while. Uh, it's been working fine. And of course you got a nice little stand here um, with a sponge in it. And you want to get the sponge kind of wet so that you can uh, prime your soldering iron with it and also wipe off any excess solder. Uh, priming the soldering iron basically just means you uh, get a little bit wet to kind of clean it off and then you put a little bit of solder on it because <coughs> that'll uh, help you out later. Um, so without uh, much more ado here, right now I pretty much broke the crap out of this button by slamming it into the wall. So I pull the uh, button out and I come out with these two wires that uh, used to uh, be connected by the switch, but since the switch no longer works, what I'm going to end up doing is just cutting these two wires uh, and splicing them together basically and then soldering them. Um, I'd always recommend using actual uh, wire strippers because that's what they're made for, stripping wires. You can use scissors if you want to, but you're kind of at the mercy of uh, your hand coordination on that one, your own dexterity. If you screw up, then you're going to end up with less and less wire, and then you got more problems. Um, if you don't know how to use wire strippers, I don't know what to say, other than you're an idiot. But basically, I guess I can point that out. <laughs> There's different size wires, uh, different size wires, obviously, and then you have the actual wire stripping parts. Uh, a decent set of wire strippers, and all you do is pick the uh, smallest one that will work for your wire. Um, and you want to get about a quarter of an inch or so free of the wire so that you can actually uh, work on it. You'll have plenty of wire to actually solder together. Uh, there we go. Uh, also, wires come in a couple different ways. There's a lot of wires like this that have uh, separate uh, strands to them. Really, the easiest way to do that before you... I mean, there's there's a couple different ways to splice them. Um, I'm just going to do things quick and dirty here. Uh, basically, just twist them together and uh, solder it. For fuck's sake, wires suck. There we go. 
So I've got my uh, two wires exposed here to finally. And the uh, first thing you want to do is you want to do what's called priming. Or, yeah, priming, I guess, is what you could call it. <coughs> uh, basically, all that means is you get a bit of solder on the tip of your uh, soldering iron. This is a good time to point out, you should wear uh, protective eyewear because smoke in your eye hurts, but uh, if you sit back from it, you should be okay. Um, but yeah, basically you just want to, actually called tending the wires, that's what it's called. Uh, pretty much all that means is you get a little bit of solder on there just to kind of bind the wire, all the different strands together. And you want to be careful not to leave the soldering iron on there too long because the uh, heat will sort of creep down the wire and eventually melt the uh, insulation around the wire. So I've got one wire tin there. Kind of a shitty job, but don't care. And then get this one out of the way. Just gonna tin this other wire, like so. In fact, I'm just gonna do it this way. Uh, you can also put down something under your uh, under the area where you're working on. That'll help uh, in the event that you kind of suck at not keeping the solder on your iron or on what you're soldering. So that if it drips off, it doesn't screw up with your, the uh, table or whatever you're working on. And so I'm pretty much from here, I've got two nicely tinned wires. Also, solder tends to uh, cool down pretty quickly. So, And as you can see, um, I pretty much remembered I was going to mention that I left the batteries in this. Which uh, you generally don't want to do if you're working on something. <laughs> but in this case, uh, I'm not too worried about 2, 3 volts or so. Uh, and there's really not enough amperage to kill me in this damn thing. So, as you can see, we pretty much just did a quick splice where we're just twisting wires around each other. I don't know the technical name for that, so I will call it a twist splice. And uh, from here, there should be enough solder on there already that all I have to do is just just touch the uh, soldering iron to it, and uh, they should just the solder should all melt together, and there it is. There's a nicely soldered together wire. And as you can see, it now works. But there's a nice little close up of the solder. Not a particularly bad job. Not a particularly good job either, but that's how it's done. Amazing. It's amazing. Um, also helps to plan ahead when you do this type of stuff. Um, you could go ahead and get some rubber tape, electrical tape, something like that, any kind of tape really, and just wrap it around that splice so that way you won't be uh, exposing anything to the electrical current that might cause some kind of a fire, but again this is very low voltage and I'm not particularly worried about it, so um, I'm just going to shove that wire back in there and shove the switch in there, which that doesn't work because it's a switch that's broken, but it works anyway. So uh, that's how you solder shit. Join me next time when I show you how to do other basic shit.